uh, from 2021 batch. So today I'm going to present a poster on pharmacovigilance. So basically what is pharmacovigilance? It is a science of monitoring the safety of medicines and taking actions to reduce the risk and increase the benefits of medicines. As we can see, medication adherence is key for instructions to be free. So here what's happening is uh, a kid has fallen sick after uh, consulting a physician uh, uh, prescribed to medicines, uh, he took that medicines. After a few minutes, he experienced some adverse drug reactions like uh, cough, sneezing, or uh, fever, rash, etc. So in this case, what we can do? We can do like a uh, pharmacovigilance process. Let's understand the process. It consists of four stages. The first stage is a detection. We can detect the adverse drug reactions and collect all the data. So it is collection of individual case reports. And then the next stage is assessment. Assessment consists of five steps. The first one is a triage. Basically, it involves the establishment of validity of ICSRs, that is individual case reports. Then um, it, it consists of four components, like identifying the uh, proper patient, identifying the reporter and uh, susceptible drug and the adverse drug reactions. And next we have the data entry. Every pharmaceutical company has certain uh, data related to the safety of the medication. So in case of any uh, adverse drug reactions, the safety associate will enter the particular data so that it may be useful to modify the drug or um, to report any drug. And next we have the query process. In this process, uh, like the reporter may be asked questions so that more information can be uh, recorded uh, and which, which will be helpful in modifying the drug. And medical review, the medical practitioners uh, can uh, review the uh, adverse drug reactions and about the drug and comment uh, on the drug so that uh, it will be helpful for the uh, further process. And case closure, then we can report the drug to the respective uh, authorities. Next, we are understanding the drug safety profile. Here, we will understand each, each of the component of the drug, uh, the adverse reactions it is causing. And uh, next is the fourth stage is the prevention of adverse uh, effects. Uh, we can modify the components of the drug if it is a uh, mild to moderate. If it is very severe, then we can um, stop marketing the drug or we can uh, ban the drug. And here we have, uh, we know the process of pharmacovigilance now, but how to approach it? What is the pathway so that we can report a drug? Here, uh, when anyone encounter uh, adverse drug reactions of a particular drug, then immediately we have to report to the healthcare professionals. So that they uh, report it to the area monitoring centers, in turn to the national coordinating centers, and finally to the global monitoring centers. But the decision on the safe usage of drugs is done by the CDSO, that is uh, Central Drug Standard Control Organization, and it will uh, decide whether the drug uh, need to be modified or drug need to be banned or any modifications should be done. Thank you.